you know what the lesbian app for Grinder is called? Twat now. Don't make this fun. It was such a strong instinct from early on. I just knew I wanted to be in plays. I knew I wanted to be um, part of a story. I love telling stories. I love telling jokes. What do you see in this picture? Good legs. When you laugh, you're really, really vulnerable. And what she does with her writing is she gets you just when you're laughing. And it comes out of nowhere. People open themselves up to then be <laughs> punched in the heart. I've never thought structure first. I've always thought material first. And I think you're the same, aren't you, Vix? And, and this is how we operate so much. Material first, jokes first, character first. And then we just put them all on the wall. Um, and then honestly, just the game of what if you put this next to this? And usually the more unusual that pairing is with those scenes or those scenes that you put in an episode, the more interesting it, it comes or that something, something happens when you put two things that shouldn't be together. And then you start pulling a story out of that. This is probably really bad advice because I know you're supposed to structure first and then you send, send it to your commissioners and go, this is the structure of the episode. And, then, and just send like a screwed up post-it note going, that's out. Um, but um, but that, that really, really helped was that. was just, just knowing that you're... As long as you're enjoying writing those scenes, then, then once you've got enough, then start playing with it. She always does something slightly different around her period. She gets really bad PMT. Mum used to call it her monthly confidence crisis, but it's PMT. The only way she can get through it is to reinvent herself in some small way. Knowing the end really, really helps. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you should just go far away from the end emotionally as you possibly can. That's my instinct anyway. And I think knowing how you, and we were doing our dry write stuff, theatre stuff um, early on, a lot of our experiments were how do you want to make the audience feel? Like what is the journey, emotional journey you want them to go on? And that really helps me rather than thinking like, starting off thinking like this would work A story, B story, C story. It's, it's at this point, if you found a moment, a scene that you know works and it's going to make them feel that you need to hit them with it as a surprise. So then work away from that. She has gone. Once you're actually writing things down and writing dialogue down, you learn so much more than than um, even in real life. You know, if you write yourself a kind of, if you just dare yourself to write something truthful that you think and it feels kind of dangerous because it's like writing a diary that you know no one's going to look in. And that's kind of what it felt like with Fleabag. I just thought, I'm just going to write what will make Vicky laugh. Fuck's sake. I know people in this building. Anyone could come. Hi, Claire. Hello, Leslie. Oh, well, that's lovely. What is that? The advice, I think, is write, write as if you're not afraid. Um, and the same goes for acting. Act like you're not afraid. Just, or if you weren't allowed, if like, if someone just said, there's no, there's this, there's no reason to be afraid here, just go for it. And that was the line that I, I, that I constantly say to myself when I'm writing and, and acting. Finding someone you can work with is a huge, huge thing. And drink, drink with. Yeah. Drink with, yeah. Drink and with actually, them. that's really important. A lot of flea bag was done with half a bottle of wine <laughs> down already because you work all day in the rehearsal room or developing stuff and you're, you're so up against it and you're like, this has to be this is a professional and I have to come up with this and we won't get anything done. And then it's the half hour in the pub afterwards when yeah. all those ideas, your brain relaxes and then you're, all the ideas come, so yeah. allow yourself that.